Hello and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video I will show you how you can use view models and why you should use them in ASP.NET Core applications. Right here on screen I have an ASP.NET Core MVC application that I'm going to use for demonstration. In one sentence, a view model is a model class that represents the data that a view will display, right? So view model it's basically the class that defines the data that a view will display so let me just start that application to show you what i mean so here i got an index page and i got my elements right so this is basically what nearly every one of you should know right so we have one index page and we're going to display some data there but what if our data becomes more complex for example what if we want to show here some cities that have Zeus, for example. So let me show you my home controller right now. I got a private list with some animals, right? So just as I said, some basic information that could also, well, come from a database, but I just added two lists. And I got another one here, Zeus, and that's the second list, right? So we got two classes, we got an animal class, we have a zoo class, both offer ID and a string for both of them have an ID and the one with the animal has a name for the animal and zoo has a city, okay? So that said, just some kind of background information. Now, if you have an index page, for example, as you would have it usually in your MVC applications, for example, you would have that model binding, right? And right here, we are binding the information that we wanna show. So in that scenario here, I wanna show a list of animals. So it only makes sense to say that my model is a list of animals, right? But now, what should I do if I have another kind of information that I want to show? Let's say I want to show the zoos on the same page. So in that, in that way, I could say like, okay, zoo, right? But now I have no access to the animals anymore. So I cannot add a comma here and say, okay, and I take also zoo, right? But that's what we should have. That's what we are looking for. We're looking for a way to have more information inside of our index page. Now, this is one reason why you should consider using view models. Let me show you how to do it. Just takes one or two minutes. Now, by the way, if you are a C Sharp developer, you should know about our C Sharp Progress Academy. It is a self-paced online course that turns you into a full stack C Sharp web developer with in-depth knowledge in ASP, Netcore, Angular, unit testing and c -sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee, so please go ahead and check it out. You can find the link for that in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And I'm absolutely sure and confident to say that I truly believe <laughs> that this is the best way on how you can progress as a c -sharp developer. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we post exciting .NET related tutorials on a frequent base and you definitely don't want to miss them out, so smash the subscribe and the like button right now. Our next step is to add a new class to our project. So in a perfect world, you would right click on your project and you would add a new folder and you would call that folder view models, right? And inside that view models folder, you would right click again, you would click add, add a class and now you would give that view model class the name of the data it represents. So for example, let's say animal zoo view data. Awesome, so I wanna show animals, I wanna show zoos, so this is why I call it animal zoo view data. Now, inside here we again define some kind of properties of the data that we are going to show. So we want to show a list of animals and a list of zoos. So I'm gonna create a list of animals here. There we go, just needed to add that reference here at the top. Let's call it animals. And I wanna copy that over for zoos. So let's call it zoo, there we go and Zeus. Awesome. Now guess what? If I just switch back to my index CSHTML now, I can just remove that list animal here and just say animal zoo view data, right? Right now he will start complaining because he don't know that class. So I'm going to say add using now tutorials, you view models, right? Now my view models folder and inside there, there's the class. So I can simply just do it that way. Awesome. Now I got the model animals, you view data. And I can simply say, hey, take that model. And we got a property inside of that, which is called animals. And we're good to go already. Now I want to copy that over too, because I also want to show Zeus, right? So this is why I just add that here. And let me just adjust that. 
model Zeus. There we go. And then we're going to say not zoo name, but the property is called city. There we go. Now, if I go to the home controller, or if we would start our application, it would not work right now, because in our home controller, we have to submit the correct information. So if we have a model here at the top, we for sure have to submit the information of that model when we return the view. So inside here, we return animals, but animals right now is a list of type animal, right? And that doesn't match our model configuration right here. Sorry, that one here doesn't match the configuration. So what we have to do is now to make that matching again. So we're going to create an animal zoo view data. Let's call that VM. You could for sure also call it var, right? So VM for view model. I'm gonna say it's a new animal zoo uh, view data. And inside here we set the properties. So VM animals is our animals list and VM dot Zeus is our Zeus list. There we go. Now don't forget to submit that view model. That's something that many developers often forget and then run into issues, but that's just human nature. So let's write down VM here. So we return that view. So we put that view model into our view. And if we now start the application, we will be able to see our custom handpicked selected data, whatever information you want to show, right? You can just put everything you want to display into a class, take that class as a view model. And now you have a new layer or you created a new layer from the view that you can see right here to the controller. So we have animals and zoos and we can really specify what information we want to show. So this is definitely one of the core benefits. It's not only about what you display. It's also about some improved security, right? because we are only exposing the data that's necessary for a specific view. Awesome. So that's it for the topic on view models. So if you have learned something new, go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe button and check out our C Sharp Progress Academy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.